Hi, this is Lisa Follows of Williams and Follows and Remax Jazz. And I thought I'd chat with you a little bit today about how we would stage a home for an elderly client. Or if we have an elderly client that's wanting to stay in their home a little longer, there's some things that we can recommend that would make it easier. One of those things is looking at whether the furniture and the walls contrast. And by that I mean, are they too close in color that it's hard for somebody that maybe have some vision impairment or cataracts coming on to be able to distinguish between the furniture and the wall. So a nice bright wall and darker furniture actually makes it easier to see and navigate properly. The other thing we would look at is the flooring surfaces. Are there lots of different transitions? Are the floors level? Are there different um, rugs and carpets? Is it a slippery surface? So the idea is to make it as smooth as possible and to make sure that the traction on the floor is easy. So no slips, trips, and fall hazards, that kind of thing. And we'd also then wanna look at what does the actual space and flow of the rooms look like? So is there too much stuff in the house? Are there pockets and piles of, of memories and or, or magazines and newspapers? All these sorts of things can get in the way and make mobility issues a bit more of a challenge. So if you're having any questions about your home, whether you're thinking of putting it on the market or you'd like to stay there longer and you'd like to find some safer ways to navigate it, give us a call. We'd love to come in and chat with you, make friends, and certainly see what we can do to help you work in your house uh, for a longer period of time or if you're getting ready to move on market, how we can help you transition that better for better market value and your next steps and your next adventures. Nice chatting with you. Take care. This is Lisa Follows, Williams and Follows in Remax Jazz.